Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Banjo Kazooie. In the last episode, we had entered Gobi's Valley and I discovered a couple things about this level. Like that the ancients lied to us, but also that a tree needs water, and that I don't know. Also, Grabba's kinda jiggy. That's literally what he says. Grabba's kinda jiggy, you bitch! I failed. I've had that for a thousand years. Well done, mortal. Oh. Oh. That's three jiggies. Also, I'm gonna go back up and get the waiting boots. I don't understand how waiting boots walk you through quicksand. Ah, well, science. It makes sense sometimes, but I don't know. This game, it's not science. It doesn't need to make no sense. Actually, Banjo Kazooie, I think it's the focus of Banjo Kazooie is not making sense. It's gotten to that point now. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. I don't want to miss that one. That one note. That one garum. Yep, yeah, I think I heard it anyways. Oh well. One health on is nothing. I think it's get that back and like killing a fly thing or whatever. And we're still not done with this area. And also my sound recorder is not showing up, so I can't pay attention to the timing. Because that's what I pay attention to the time on, because it's the longer of the two. Actually, it's shorter than the two should be the one I pay attention to, if I say. Oh, we're good. Anyway, it doesn't matter. <laughs> I'm really fast. This isn't a game. This isn't like a game we played before. What's the worst thing in the game where something runs really fast? Stupid bitches. Oh. Also, feathers and eggs, don't grab those, we're using those you do more. Actually, we might cut the corners here. Good. Musical note! No! Yeah! Oh. Too good to be true. Grunty's race, you cannot beat until you find some faster feats. Okay, let's try it again. I also hit the cutscene, it pisses you off. Ha! I smarted you game. Did it. Did it, people. Now, be careful, there is one mumbo token in this game that you can lose forever. I'm sad to say. That one. You will, if you don't grab that before you do this, you will not be able to get that mumbo token ever again. And I'm sure you want that, so... And that's why! Also, hit these guys, you'll just do that. But if you use the uh, Wonder Wing, which is the uh, invincibility, it will hurt them and kill them. But I'm not going to worry about them because they're not really that much of a threat. They're just kind of walking around like, yeah, I'm a mummy. There's actually multiple enemies in this game, you need to use the Wonder Wing to kill if you actually want to kill them, of course. I feel like there's a way of doing this without using the magic carpet, but I'm just going to wait. I win. And what's he gonna say? Oh, it's too hot for Gobi. I need some shade. Please help me. Oh, here's your reward, Bab. Gobi's off to cool down. I can't use like. Actually, if I can't use Middle Eastern accent, although I think considering Gobi Desert's in China, it would be a Chinese accent, but uh... Gobi is going to push off the hour! I don't know how you do that either, I sound like a fucking retarded... I sound like, I sound like a retarded Scooby-Doo or some shit. I don't know. 
That's what happens when you're out of good times, Aries. That's very badly. It's almost vital to game completion. This does not take long at all if I'm good at it. Also, thank goodness that wasn't the last Jinjo. Like um, Gerudo Desert or some shit. Do 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 do. I've never actually uh, paid close attention to the underwater version of Gobi's Valley because you don't hear it very much. Kind of like Freezy Peak underwater. You only hear it. You can only hear it if you hack the game. But yeah, I love that. Whenever, I love how whenever when you like whenever you go underwater. It starts playing, uh, um, like a little, like, xylophone version of the game's music, except for Hunter's Cavern, obviously. Yummy, yummy. Ah. The Taurus Lady Rises! And then another one comes out, it's I'm using my Arnold's Schwarzenegger accent again. I'm really bad at that accent. I don't know why everyone loves it so much. It's not really that good. Yes, it is indeed hilarious, though, but it's not that good. I don't get the big uh, deal with why everyone loves it when I do it. Okay, and next one comes out, and we'll officially raise this tower to a final a pyramid. It's a pyramid, the final one. Ladies and gentlemen, you wonder how the pyramids were built? The, the, the Egyptians fed statues, and the statues were like, burp, and then they disappeared and the tower rose. And it was like, not good enough. Thanks for glitching. What game is this supposed to be like? like it's, it's like a carnival game, is what it seems like. Carnival games, it's a really fucking good Wii game. Really shittily programmed, but it's a really fucking good Wii game. I should, I should uh, help you that sometime. This is King Sandybutt's tomb. Turn back or face his wrath. That's how King Sandybutt sounded. You choose not to heed my warning. Prepare to run. I'm running, bitch. Get out of there, Kazooie. I'm supposed to be running. This is a life or death situation here. And all you choose to do is get stuck in the walls. Where is the wall? Hurry, I'm jump, I'm jump, hurry. Music stops for a second. This thing opens up, an extra jiggy is revealed. Which is, it's obviously not an extra, extra jiggy, it's still part of the game, but. There's no musical notes in here, are there? I always look around. This is no musical notes, it's the one in. No, the bear survived. He's after the king's ancient relic. What's the game that says ancient relic thingy? Which one? Which banjo kazooie that says ancient relic thingy? Isn't is it? Is it? Is it, no, is it it's uh. It's the uh, second game. Second game is whole. I, lo I love the comment, like the jokes in the second game a lot more than I do the ones in the first game. The second banjo kazooie is really good. Really good writing. This one was like her first time doing anything like that. And then obviously the rare game with the best writing is Conquer, but... And the worst writing is Donkey Kong 64, but Donkey Kong isn't for the writing. And blah 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 blah. See, that's the thing with this game. This game is just like, everything a little kid finds hilarious. That's basically how the jokes in this game work. And, I, and like, normally it's a bad thing to do as jokes. This is a game for little kids, so with all the jokes being aimed towards them, it's 
fine. It's all fine. I'm gonna do this real quick. Because there's something after this you have to do. So I don't really want to have to go back here like multiple times. This tree looks a bit thirsty, but I need all my blah 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 blah. Ah, oh, lovely water. Trunk of feels great. That is how trees grow. I love his I love Trunker's face, by the way. Like, it's just all stretchy. Like that water! And that's another jiggy. You got 8 out of 10. Means 2 more. Which You know, this little part where the thing comes out. That is where it's going to stop for you. I'm really good at singing. Uh, see, it's open. I'm not going to go in there. It's not important. I'll show you the last episode. That's it, I'm leaving this desert to find some peace and quiet. Oh, that's it. Song of the song of the song of cover your ears singing. That's it. That's like like if Legend of Zelda had music like based around my channel. It'd be like the song of cover your ears are shitty singing. Don't just stop. Just stop moving. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, look how close I got to the door. Seven seconds to get through that. Oh no, I wonder if I can do it. That was easy. I'm not looking back there. I didn't notice that. Actually, I probably did notice that. I just never took note of the fact that I grabbed it. That's how you play. That's how I play this game now. I like. I never take note of when I grab something. I just kind of like nonchalantly do it, like I've done this a million times, which I probably have. By now, I've probably played this game literally a million times. I know it like like the back of my hand, which is on the front of it, I believe. Zooey, I don't know what Zooey's face is. Musical note. Banjo face right there. It's a feather right there. It's a kazooie face right there, which is. Uh, the honeycomb, which is the first one. Oh, it's not. Let's get this one. I, I need to memorize this sometime. I don't know, I never memorized this. Too stupid. There we are. It's not really that hard. And eventually you'll memorize the whole thing. Like, I know where the Jinjos are, and it, it never changes. They didn't change things back then because it was too much programming. So you guys can actually just copy what I just did. So yeah, I just give you guys a second to pause the video and look at it. And here we are again. Is it closing? There it is. It's just closing really, really, really slowly. That's all. I'm missing eight musical notes. Oh, I know where they are. Okay, never mind. Okay, we're good. Hey. Wow. This level, I haven't died. I didn't die. Holy crap. Let's, let's not talk too soon. I'm about to do the hardest part of the level. The part that usually it doesn't kill me, but it does some damage. So, I'll fly over here real quick. 
Because like I said, I use, this, I use this attack as more of a fast transportation than I do attack. So I can get around a lot faster while flying. Also, platforms. Moving platforms are kind of pointless now. You just kind of fly your way through everything. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I don't know. I don't even know what that's from. I just kind of made that up. Don't fall! Don't fall! Sam, it's Macho! Run! Run, Macho! Run like you've never run before! That room is timed. That's about all I can say, it's just timed. Let's get some musical notes here. I don't think there are any hard input tokens again. You found all the 100 notes on this world. Well done. Hello, my friend. I am Bloopy. I can be the most help, no? We are looking for treasure, pipe boy. Very good, I see some up there. It's yours if you can get it up. Get it, yes? I don't know. I try speaking too fast when I do an Indian accent and I can't do it. It's fucking. This is so nerve wracking. It's like not even supposed to be nerve wracking. It's not like you fail. You just like lost the game or some shit. Although if you win, you won the game. Really? More than three? I'm giving you a lot of eggs here. Four isn't enough? Five? Ah, a thousand francs, my friend. His stuff will now help you with your waist. Done here. Hundred percent to this level. Now though, we have other levels of hundred percent. In the next episode, I will be going to two other levels. Well, actually, I'm not gonna say two other levels. We're going to Bubble Gloop Swamp and Free Sea Peak. And we're also gonna get the stuff we didn't get at Grunty's Lair yet. I got the switch, no mind. I was gonna say, did I get the Grunty switch here? <laughs> Would be good if missed that. I don't know if that's what This LP is going great so far. I am really happy with how this LP is turning out. Only died once, and that was suicidal kill, so it doesn't count. Now, with the rest of this game, though, it's gonna get to the point where I'm gonna have to do the hard stuff first, rather than last, because if I do it last, I'm just gonna die a bunch. And stop it. Ha! Ah, what was that? I don't even know what that was. That was that was beautiful. I just like held the invincibility on top of that moving platform and just ran through that guy. I just, that was just beautiful. That was a beautiful kill. And you know what? I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get that one jiggy in Grunty's lair first, and then we'll go to Free CC Peak next episode and get the jiggy there, and then go to Bubble. I'll probably start Bubble Gloop Swamp some other episode, maybe, maybe not. It's beautiful singing. You guys wish I could. You just wish you could sing like I can. Ow! No. Boy, if you wanna be awesome like me. There's a feather pad, which means we gotta run, bitch. Get on the fucking running shoes. I'm gonna fail. Jump, Kazooie, jump! Fucking, I almost flew. I'm not holding the Z button, people. I'm not holding the Z button. This is beautiful. Run, graceful gazelle, run! Kazooie's not a gazelle, Kazooie's a fucking... I don't even think gazelle's a bird, is it? Ladies and gentlemen, blonde levels. Man. I'm a man blonde. Run, graceful gazelle, run! Oh, 
Whoosh! And while I'm in the air, I'm just gonna break because I'm gonna tell this eye open. Now, I have done this before to other LPs. You can't actually jump off her hat and break it with the red hat hat wrap. But I find it easier. Actually, it is easier to do it that way. You don't get hurt or anything. But I, I don't know. I just felt like doing it the hard way. For once, to show you guys how you're supposed to do it. Because you guys get, like, really pissed when I do, like, glitches to get through things. So I'm going to, like, stop doing that. Like, glitches and cheats and Easter, well, Easter eggs can stay. Easter eggs are going to stay in the LPs no matter what. That's seven. I'll see you guys in the next episode, but we will go to Mad Monster Mansion.